Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash up together both logos. Okay, we've got Pringles and Doritos. Wait, okay, this is perfect, let's go. Okay, my idea for this is to take this shape right here and turn that into the bow tie. So kind of like two of those. And then maybe even for the mustache, make it be like in the style of this part right here. So the first thing I need to do is carefully erase everything that says Doritos until I can just get that shape. Okay, I've got it erased. Now I just need to cover up the rest of it with black. Okay, I duplicated it. Now I'm gonna flip it horizontally to make the bow tie. All right, in Photoshop, I grabbed just the Pringles guy head and now I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, I basically took the Doritos font and then the Pringles font and I'm just gonna stretch this. Okay, I added that tiny red line and a black stroke around it all and here's what we're working with. Finally, using the pen tool, I wanna kind of recreate these little shapes like this. Okay, this might be my favorite mashup I've ever done. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logos this lands on, I'm gonna mash them together to make one super logo. Okay, we've got... NASA and oh, the Pepsi logo. Okay, wait, this is perfect, let's go. I mean, I think we know what must be done. No, not literally, but my idea is to put these colors as the background to the NASA logo. So let's get going. I'm gonna start by removing all the letters in the Pepsi logo. I'm gonna go ahead and recreate this red shape with the pen tool, just because I'm gonna have to remove the NASA letters as well. Okay, so now I can go ahead and remove the letters since I have that line over top. I found a very similar font called Bambi, and I'm gonna type out the name, which I'm calling Napsy. The last thing to do is just add the Pepsi logo and and here is the final result. This actually will be a really, really cool collab between the two companies. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos and then I'm gonna combine them into one super logo. Okay, first we're gonna do Target. Okay, and MasterCard. Okay, wait. These two are perfect. I'm already seeing the vision. Are you seeing it? Okay, I really couldn't have asked for a better one for the filter to give me because it's pretty obvious what we have to do. We have to put that Target logo here, make it yellow and put it here, and mix them in the middle. Okay, my first step is I'm gonna make two of the Target logos and make them the exact width apart. And I'm gonna dye one that exact red and the other that exact, oops, and the other that exact yellow. Then I'm gonna select that orange slice here and color in all of the overlap on both of them. And here is the final result. This one is definitely a little bit simpler, but I actually love the final result. I really couldn't have asked for two more perfect logos to combine. I think the result looks really cool. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Let's combine some logos. Whatever this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together in Photoshop. Okay, we've got Universal and Disneyland. Okay, wait, this is actually perfect. Let's go. Okay, they're both black and white. I'm thinking what we do is call it Universal Land. <laughs> kind of match together these different fonts. And then I'm thinking we take the castle and like place it on the map. Okay, I'm gonna select just the D and mask it out. I'm gonna place that D right there as well as land. And I'm just gonna skew it down like that. Now I'm just gonna take the castle and scale it down, place it right here, and here is the final result. I think this looks a little crazy. It's definitely very long. But overall, I'm happy with how everything turned out, and I think this is a really good mashup considering they're both parks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logos these land on, I'm gonna mash them together to create one super logo. Okay, first we have Starbucks mixed with Spirit Halloween. Okay, let's go. Okay, my initial idea is we make the background of this be this green color, put her face on his face and maybe add in some fins down here at the bottom to match that. I selected the guy and now I'm just gonna draw a green circle. Okay, now I'm just gonna paint over his face and I'm gonna drag in the face from the Starbucks logo. Oh my gosh. I also wanna make these parts down here look like little tails. So I'm gonna grab the part from the Starbucks logo. So I'm gonna remove that. What I do want to say is of the C because 
she's supposed to be like a mermaid. Here is that all complete. This one is definitely one of the crazier ones I've ever done, but I love her little face. I love the spooky vibes we got with this one right before Halloween. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos and whatever we get, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, first we've got Google, okay, and the Olympics. Okay, wait, I have some ideas. Okay, right off the bat, my initial thoughts are, what if we make these top three rings be like the O, O, and G in the logo? So let me resize that real quick. Okay, let's move it into position. Yes, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna make the Google logo be a little less opaque so we can see what we're working with. Okay, I'm thinking we make this first one be red, and then the second one, the blue, just to match the Google logo a little better. Now using the pen tool, I'm just gonna draw in kind of where the G would be. Perfect. Now back to the original logo, I just need to erase these letters. And here's the final result. I think this looks really cool and I'm actually surprised Google hasn't done something like this for the Olympics in the past. This might be one of the most realistic like logos I could see in the real world from any of my mashups so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos and whatever they land on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have Ford, okay, and next, Volkswagen. Okay, wait, two car logos? I think I have an idea. Okay, right off the bat, I'm noticing these are almost the exact same colors, and I'm going with the flattened versions of the logos because that's like technically what their logos are. So my first step is just to erase the word Ford completely, just like that. I found a font called Ford Script, so I'm just gonna type out V and W in it. Okay, what I wanna do is arrange them within the Ford logo so they almost read as the Volkswagen logo looks. I've got that looking kinda how I want it. Now I'm just gonna bring in the original ORD from the Ford logo, and here is the final result. I don't know if this is one of my favorite mashups of all time, but it definitely got the point across. I'm thinking if you had to pronounce this one, it would be pronounced like V word, like, oh my word. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's not my favorite, but let me know what you think about it in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna let this filter pick two random fast food logos and then we're gonna mash them together. All right, let's see what we get first. Ooh, I really need a haircut. Okay, we've got Sonic combined with Carl's Jr. All right, let's get going. Okay, if you look at the Sonic one, if you add a point here, it almost makes it like a star shape like this. So I'm thinking that's what I'll do in blue, and then I'll add his little face into the star, and maybe put Junior somewhere here, so its name is Sonic Junior. In Illustrator, I am just adding in that extra line with the pen tool, gonna soften those edges a little bit. I made the face a vector and moved it up here, and then lastly moved the junior up here, and then I really wanted to add in some yellow, so I brought that back in, and here's the final result. Went ahead and mocked that up on a real sign, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos, and then I'm gonna mash them together. Let's see what the first one is. I remember this filter takes forever. Red Robin, okay, mixed with IHOP. Interesting, all right, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we call it I Robin, and then we can take the little smiley face and put it under the O and the B, and it'll still look like a face. So I turned both of those into vectors and moved the I and the smiley face down here. Then I thought this just needed to be a little more flush, so I changed that with the pen tool. Lastly, I went ahead and made the O and the B blue, and here's the final result. I mocked that up on the side of a building, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's combine whatever this logo lands on. Okay, McDonald's with Shake Shack. Interesting. All right, let's do it. I'm thinking I might draw the McDonald's arch in that kind of minimalist style and turn this bun yellow and then maybe use this lettering over here to make it say McShack. Okay, on a new layer, I'm just drawing this, let's see, arch. I'm gonna make the caps be this one so it's a little more rounded. I duplicated it and I'm reflecting it. That way I can get an exact copy of that side on this side of it as well. Making this be that same yellow color. I took the A from Shake and I'm making it into this kind of M, taking the C from Shack to make it Mick. Turn those red from the McDonald's and here's the final result. I also mocked it up. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random restaurant logos and then I'm gonna mash them together, probably in Adobe Illustrator. Let's see what we get. 
Oh my gosh, okay, Cheesecake Factory mixed with Applebee's. Okay, let's go. Hear me out. What if we call it Apple Cheese Factory? <laughs> and then I think I might use the C and the F and then maybe we can make the apple look like it's made of cheese or something. So first I'm gonna delete the B and move the CH up here. Then I'm duplicating this E to make it say cheese. I decided to move the up to the top as well and factory up. I made all those one color, changed the apple to cheese, and here is the final result. Mocked it up on a real restaurant and I love it. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna run this filter twice and whatever logos we get, I'm gonna mash them up. Okay, we've got Zaxby's plus Jollibee. Okay, some interesting local things, but let's do it. Am I really about to have to put this bee's head on this chicken? I think so. And then the other obvious thing I think is we gotta call it Zach's, but spell it like bees, Zach's bees. All right, let's get this monstrosity out of the way, resizing the bee's head, flip it horizontal, and perfect. Okay, I went ahead and brought that into Procreate on my iPad, and I'm just attempting to give it the same style as the bee's head. I'm just gonna bring some of the red from his head into other parts of the chicken. Now that that monstrosity is done, I found a font that's similar to the Zaxby's font called Georgia. Add that in here. And here is the final result. Did I ever think I would mash up these two logos? No. Did I make something cursed? Yes. Let me know what you think in the comments.